my commute can be quite challenging. I've had occasions where I couldn't get up off the seat. My legs had gone. On the commute, uh, interesting thing about this film, while I watch it for the first time, I'm like, oh, this is interesting. About sorry about three people living in London who have a commute. I'm into this. I'm into this because most of us who are sitting here commuted to get here. I know Denisa, she took like, a, took like an hour to get here from Oakville, so she just had a long commute. So it's an interesting story because we all have... We all have our own uh, our own stories, but then it kind of gives us an even that extra edge because these people have MS and like what they have to go through even more so, and all the people that we see every day on the subway or on the streetcar, and did all the stories that there's there's always a hundred stories in every subway car, and it's, that's what made it more interesting because these people are going through all these things that no, most of us won't even know. I really loved the woman who said she says fuck you to her MS, yeah. <laughs> and how. She uses that anger to like push herself upstairs and, yeah. and bolster herself. And it was, I mean, all three were pretty inspiring stories. Um, it kind of seemed like the theme along all three movies was that sort of acceptance and, and dealing with the world as it is. Um, but that woman definitely uh, made me want to go driving. Yeah. I choose to commute in this way. Um, take the tube takes half an hour, running takes 50 minutes. And that, yeah, that's the, really the theme of that film, is at the end they're saying, we, this is what I have to accept, this is who I am, this is what I have to deal with. This is more of a question. Um, were they actors or was this a little documentary? Yeah, it's a documentary, yeah. Oh, it was. They all had MS. Yeah. They all have MS. Yeah. I thought it was excellent. Yeah. I thought the cinematography was excellent, and um, I got a little emotional because uh, one of my best friends has MS, and she doesn't talk a lot about it, so it hit home. and. I think we have to all understand and appreciate that we all are struggling with something. We just don't know what it is, and we have to be more graceful to everybody. Yeah. They did a really good job. Things aren't always as they seem, and if we're conscious, and I guess the term in this in this generation is if we're awoke, we'd actually be awake to that everyone has and is dealing with something. So we should be should have compassion. I thought it was such a cool choice for them to choose the commute as the vehicle for the narrative because they could have just sat them down in the kitchen, sort of like the standard narrative, but the fact that it's all about getting from point A to point B and how it's so much more meaningful to some people, whether it's just like actually just getting to work is that much harder and then getting to the next day might be going farther and they all finished up with the same message, like you just keep going.